here with my very special guest, Kelly, and we are going to do glam and ghost stories because Kelly has the scariest true ghost stories, and she's going to tell them to you guys while I turn her into a lovely goddess. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm not going to talk much. I'm just going to let Kelly do her thing. Oh, no, good. Okay. Okay. And I'm nervous. <laughs> I've never let her tell me these before because I am scared of ghosts, and I don't want to know, but I can't. I can't remember me not telling them to you. I know, I would have <laughs> for sure, you. I would have. <laughs> Do you want me to start with my scariest one, or like yeah. how it's all just built up? Ooh, I have good question. Of them. Whatever you think, I'm excited. Okay, well, I'll tell you with where it really first just started <laughs> in, in the back house of my in-laws' house. They used to have this carriage home in the back, and. Just weird things started happening, and I thought maybe it was the mice playing with the electrical because electrical things wouldn't happen, like the computer turning on in the middle of the night and Ooh. the TV turning off and the light just turning on randomly. And I was like, okay, there's just got to be a short somewhere. So while I did find it freaky, I just chalked it up to um, bad electrical problems. Yeah. Um, or maybe a bum living somewhere downstairs. You know, I don't know. <laughs> That's scary too. <laughs> I know. Okay. So, um, I started getting more freaked out um, about possibly being there, there being a ghost or something when I was laying down in bed. I was getting ready for bed. Mm -hmm. And I had this Bluetooth that I would charge on the floor. And it's really hard to describe. Our back house, we were above a garage, so there were stairs that went up the side. You know, it was inside. You would walk in the door and go up the stairs, and then you would turn right into the studio apartment. Okay. And so, like, I kept the charging Bluetooth on the floor, and it had a blue light that shone up the wall in this, like, little cone shape. Uh-huh. You know, if that makes sense. Tell me if it don't make sense. No, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. It's like so, a nightlight kind yeah. of. Yeah. Okay. So there was there was light on the wall to where, a, you know, something could be seen if there was some type of shadow. And um, one night I was looking out the wall just thinking about something after I'd put my daughter down to bed. And because we only had my daughter Elle at the time. It was just us three in the back house. And I was staring at the wall and this shadow started creeping up the wall oh my gosh and it at first I was like oh maybe it's like a bug or something yeah was it a big but, shadow <laughs> it's a big shadow okay but we're just I wanted to a bring a prop <laughs> <laughs> so I can explain it better okay um but I didn't have time to make one and it was <laughs> so what it was, was like this head started forming oh going up the wall <laughs> so like if you can imagine like from here is like going up like this, oh my gosh. Uh, like up the wall, and I got to it got to like the bodice <laughs> oh of someone, so it looked like the bodice of a person. When I started like screaming and hitting my husband, okay, and I was so like, you weren't alone. No, no, I wasn't alone. Thank goodness. So I hit him, and I said, "Someone's coming up our stairs," because it was very um, real. It wasn't like this. It was a very real shape. Yeah. Very distinct. It was a human body. And so he ran over, he's super brave, yes. and he ran over to the stairs to scare off whoever was coming up, but no one was there. And the door was locked, so no one had been able to get in yeah. because it was locked. And you didn't hear footsteps. We didn't hear any footsteps. It's a really small area. It would be easy to tell yeah. if someone was there. Yeah. So that was the first thing, that other than the electrical going weird in that back house. Okay. So I always felt so like... So creepy. Yeah, that was pretty creepy. <laughs> <laughs> there was definitely a human shape against the wall. Oh my gosh. Um, and everyone else was sleeping. And so that's like the most distinct one that I remember in the back house. But shortly thereafter, we moved. And things started happening in the house that I'm in now. Um, the first thing that started happening in the house that I'm in now was I would wake up in the middle of the night and I'd walk into our bathroom and I would just hear this voice say, hey. Like and a I, nice, hey, like a friendly hey? Yeah, just like, hey. Okay, <laughs> no, it sounds really dumb. No, it sounds crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it sounds really dumb. And that actually didn't bother me. I was like, okay, well, I'm sure there's an explanation somewhere. And I just kind of ignored it. But my neighbor 
across the street and down one. Mm-hmm. We were at a wedding for our other neighbor. Uh-huh. And I was telling him about this, and he's like, is it a man's voice? And I said, yeah. He's like, sometimes I'll just be, like, in my bathroom, and I'll hear someone say, hey. And oh I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so then I started thinking, okay, so I'm either someone's running across the street and speaking into our vents, saying, hey, in the middle of the night. It's not like it was loud either. It was just very quiet. Just, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Ooh. So those are kind of <laughs> creepy ones. Um, one of my, I'll get to, I'll get a really scary one right now just so people don't get super bored. <laughs> so my husband likes to leave me alone and go play basketball. Okay. And I ask him not to. <laughs> <laughs> I get super scared at night. Um, and well, this happened a couple weeks after I heard someone playing my piano just in the middle of the day. Okay. I was right by my piano. I was around the corner from it, and a st distinct melody played across my piano. Like an old and song? Just and No, it was just, just like a distinct, it. like, quick melody. So creepy. <laughs> <laughs> and I, it wasn't any of my electronics because I had all my electronics in my hand, and they were all turned off because I was going somewhere. Yeah. And it was in my piano room. Right. And so I just ran out of my house. I booked it <laughs> to my friend's house. <laughs> and oh I didn't want to go back home. So that had happened, and then a few short days later, I was at home by myself while my husband went to go play basketball. And my kids were sleeping upstairs in my bedroom, because that's where I like to keep them. Mm -hmm. And they, um, so they're all sleeping. It's late. It's probably about 10 o'clock at night, and I hear three really loud raps on my sliding glass door. From your backyard into your house from my backyard into my house and okay. so honestly I wasn't super scared at that point I was just like oh there's a tree hitting my window because I'm retarded and I didn't realize there is no tree in my backyard I don't <laughs> yeah, know why I thought it's that so windy though <laughs> well we yeah live. it gets windy so I was like yeah. okay something's hitting my window and I go and turn the light on there's nothing there so I guess there could have been a hoodlum type kid like knocking on it but yeah. it wasn't like this scary pounding it was just like knock knock oh knock gosh. just like really loud so I kind of let that go, and then all of a sudden I heard my kids screaming bloody murder oh upstairs. God. In your bedroom? In my bedroom. I like jumped over my couch. That's how intense it was. <laughs> your couch is pretty wide. Yeah, I like That's jumped over my couch. <laughs> I was, oh I was like, so scared for them. They were, One was saying, no, no, no. And the other one was like, mommy, oh mommy, gosh. like screaming. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So I, like, run upstairs. Uh-huh. And they were dead asleep. Oh, that's weird. And, like, not they had not moved an inch from where I had placed them. Oh, my gosh. But I thought to myself, okay, maybe one of them just had... You know, a nightmare. I caught it late, even though I, like, bolted up my stairs. Yeah. And the only TV that was on was my TV downstairs, and it definitely wasn't my TV. Right. And it was, like, pretty late at night, like 10 o'clock. That's way creepy. Yeah. Super <laughs> creepy, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so, I was just like, okay, I'm just, I'm going to ignore it. Something funky happened. We're just going to let it go. About two minutes later, I mean, I know the position my kids were in because I checked them out yeah. solidly. And there were two distinct voices before. So I was sitting there watching my TV again, and then I heard it again, the same screaming. There's no, no, mommy. Like two different voices screaming like someone's killing them. And you were in the bedroom still. You were still downstairs. I went back downstairs. Okay. And I bolted upstairs again. And they were dead, and there was two different kids screaming those two different things. And it was coming from upstairs. You know, you can you know the location of a of a sound. Yeah. And they were it was coming from upstairs, and I run in, and they just were still dead asleep. They hadn't moved. They were not like restless. They were dead to the world. Yeah. So. So weird. Where that voice came from. I don't know. I feel like there's this little ghost child haunting me somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure. So that, like, 
I, I thought of that one the other night in preparation for tonight, and I like, <laughs> could not Ooh, sleep. That's so crazy. It's really hard to um, get across the intensity of it because I guess you could always say, well, with some kid outside, it, there was yeah, no kid it outside. It was creepy. It was really creepy. And that was when your husband was playing basketball. Yes! You still play basketball. Know that. Okay, now when they play, I have to come to your house. Well, yeah. Be really scared. <laughs> I don't want to. I hate sleeping by myself. <laughs> I'm terrified. Living clothes, stay close. So, that one was. Pre- After that, I didn't get any for a while. I think, Thank like, goodness. Prayed. Please do not oh let that happen gosh. again. I don't know what I would do if that happened to me. I'd it's, be like. Really eerie. I can never be alone again. Never. <laughs> it's really eerie because it's not like it's coming from outside. It's yeah. in the house. You know, it's just like if my husband were to call down to me. Yeah. From upstairs. Oh my gosh. It's really just the weirdest freaking thing. So I like sat there and rewound my TV, just wondering if maybe something was in the background that I wasn't catching on to, even though I knew that it it wasn't on my TV and it wasn't. Yeah. There was nothing. You're I right. just, just stay downstairs. I feel like I would have had to go or even though they're kids, I'd be like, I can't be alone. I, oh, have to go with I don't kids. even know how I stayed downstairs. <laughs> I knew like my husband was coming actually. home. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am such a chicken. I have no idea how he did it. Um the first thing that happened in the house though before the hay, <laughs> which I actually <laughs> forgot about. <laughs> well my sister doesn't believe in ghosts really. Um, but she stayed at my house when, my sister doesn't believe in ghosts at all. I grew up sleeping in my sister's room because I've just always been terrified. Uh Uh-huh. And I had her watch my kids while we went to the river with some friends. And I came home and she's like, I will never sleep in your house again. No way. And I said, oh, why? And she said that she... Seriously, heard someone check silverware across the floor downstairs, but when she went downstairs to check, there was nothing there. There was nothing there. Oh my god! I'm like, you would sound like silverware. She's like, Kelly, I swear, someone picked up a handful of silverware and chucked it across your floor. And I was like, well, that's strange. Yeah, that's really. And (laughs) that's a um, loud sound. That's not like. That's a loud sound. It's not like a electricity wire or something. Open for me. Yeah, that's really this way. Yes, good job. So, um, within a few weeks, I had, I was trying to, you know, wean my daughter. So, my husband was sleeping in a different room because anybody who knows when you try to wean a child, (laughs) it's like awful. Yes. Because they're up all the time crying. You know, they want to nurse. So, I, ah, sorry. I know, sorry. I'm impressed you can talk with your (laughs) eyeliner. It's actually, (laughs) it's actually quite hard. So, am I still looking this way? No, you can look okay. wherever you want. Okay. Actually, look down. Okay. <laughs> you can't. Okay. <laughs> so, it was late at night. I was awake taking care of Lexi because she's my most difficult child. <laughs> and <laughs> she was wide awake and she woke me up and drove me nuts, keeping me awake all night. And I think a lot of people actually have had this kind of experience. So, I'm sure a lot of people will relate. But um, I was lying there uh-huh. and I wasn't sleeping. Okay. I was definitely not sleeping and I rolled over to take care of my daughter and I rolled back over onto my back and this mist like came in through my window oh my god people are gonna call me crazy but you know it's okay <laughs> you don't really care yikes um this mist came into my window and I felt super paralyzed I couldn't move and I was Ooh. like screaming for my husband I was trying to scream for my husband yeah and I couldn't move, so I, like, said a prayer, and then it went away. And I was like, okay, well, I know I was absolutely awake. I knew 100% I was awake. Yeah. But I knew people would chalk it up to, like, a waking dream, so I just kind of discounted it. Well, my sister-in-law, I don't know if she wants to be nameless, so I'm not going to tell which one it was. <laughs> hey. She wasn't my sister-in-law yet. She was just engaged to my brother-in-law. Uh-huh. And so when they came down a week later to um, get ready to, they, they, came, they came down for something, I remember, I think they were getting ready to get married or whatever, but they weren't married yet, so she slept in Ella's room, and her fiancé at the time, now her husband, slept in my son's room. Mm-hmm. 
And she came down the next morning. This was about a week after what happened with me. And she came down the next morning and she said, I will never sleep in that bedroom again. Oh, no. And I will sleep on the floor <laughs> where my husband, well, where her fiance uh -huh. was sleeping. I won't sleep by myself in that room. And I said, why? And she said she saw this dark mist oh come into the room and paralyze her. And she couldn't move for a few minutes until it finally went away. Yeah. And she's like, Kelly, I saw it. I know it was there. Oh, And I was like, Elaine. Oh, sorry. Oops. Crap! <laughs> <laughs> I think we can I mean, that. person that I won't mention. <laughs> um, I said that totally just happened to me a week ago. Oh, my it was gosh. the weirdest thing. I had not told her about it. Yeah. I actually didn't start telling people about these things for a while because you don't know how people are going to react. Yeah. But That's scary. when you can't, like, deny the weird things that are happening, it, you, you just finally give in. Yeah. So I have a couple more. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, this one, and every, Richard's probably going to be mad at me. For, <laughs> <laughs> because this one, Richard actually experienced with me. Okay. Oh, no. There's a few more. Okay. Okay. So we'll back up These are the boat. creepy. <laughs> I was upstairs in my bedroom cleaning. Richard gets home in the afternoon on Fridays about 12 o'clock. It's about 11 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm upstairs cleaning, and this was on a Friday. Okay. So I'm upstairs cleaning with my kids downstairs, and I heard my husband's voice. I heard him talking to someone downstairs, and I looked at my clock, and I was like, "That's weird. Why is Richard home?" Yeah. And I was like, "I'm coming downstairs. Hold on." I yelled down to him. Right. And I walked downstairs, and my son runs around, so. You know how my house is set up that mm -hmm. other people don't. Like, there's my staircase, and you have to run around my staircase into my kitchen and back into another hallway to get to my garage where Richard comes in through. Right. So yeah. my son runs. I'm coming down the stairs, and he runs in around the corner to where the – around the staircase to where the garage door is. Mm-hmm. And he's like, Daddy! And then he stops dead in his tracks. And I see him, as I'm behind him, stop dead in his tracks. And I was like, what's wrong, buddy? I'm like, where's Daddy? Yeah. You're good. Okay. Look down. And I, he's like, I just heard Daddy. Where is he? And I said, I don't know. Let's go look in the garage. And go and look in the garage, and he's not there. And I said, son, why did you think you heard your dad? And he said... Because I heard him talking, and he said Lexi's name. And I oh, said, weird. Lexi, was, is that true? She said, and she looked at me, and she's like, yeah, he said my name. And I called Richard, and I said, where are you? And he said, I'm still at the office. Oh, my gosh. And so me and the kids were just so perplexed. I distinctly heard someone's, a man's voice downstairs. Yeah. And my kids knew it to be my husband. Yeah. Or they thought yeah, it was, it, you yeah. know, like... Saying, like, Lexi, you know, that kind oh of gosh. thing. This is so creepy. Mm -hmm. That's bizarre. They're just bizarre. It's like, so weird. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> word for it. Bizarre. That I have no idea. I always forget about that one. I'm not going to want to sleep tonight. <laughs> that is for sure. I'm so sorry. It's so, a great sacrifice for right you. <laughs> for anyone watching, this may take a toll on Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to sleep. Oh I'm going to be terrified tonight. So I always forget about that one. There's a lot of them that I just forget about because there's nothing I can You're do scary. about it. Yeah, yeah I, I can't forget about them too. I can't do anything about it, and it's not like any of them have caused me harm. Yeah. They've just creeped the crap out of me. Yeah. And so I've always told these to Richard, and he's always discounted them. He's just so level-headed, and I know he doesn't want to freak me out yeah. by saying, yeah, I totally believe you. <laughs> so I'm sure he's like, oh, babe. So... This one happened about three and a half years ago. Three, three and a half years ago. This next one I'm about to tell. And this is a famous one I've told lots of people about. Okay. Especially as I have Richard's backing. 
<laughs> so, I um. Sorry, I want to shut up for a minute. Do you need to say anything? Or? No, you're, you're good. So, okay, you're good. Yeah. So we were laying down. I mean, we were sleeping. We were all sleeping. It's one o'clock in the morning. I don't know what the witching hour is. I've never looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the witching it. hour. If anyone know. knows, please leave us a comment. Tell please, us when the witching yes, hour is so that us. Kelly can never be alone <laughs> during witching hour. <laughs> I need to know at this time now. <laughs> was 1 o'clock the witching hour? I don't know, but at 1 o'clock. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe it was 1.30. It was definitely 1 something. Okay. I was sleeping, but I'm a pretty light sleeper, especially because I have to like pee five times a night, so I'm never fully asleep. <laughs> That's the worst, actually. Um, speaking of, I just have to have a drink real quick. <laughs> I'm pumping her full of Diet Coke. Yeah. It's like my bribery. I'm like, tell your ghost stories, I'll give you Diet Coke. It's great. It's, it's a great trade. I can be bought trade. with any Diet Coke. <laughs> so, we're asleep, and I hear my... So I sleep with my children in my room because these things have terrified me so much. I don't like them sleeping anywhere else. And it's always this big to-do with me and my husband because he wants them in their own room. Yeah. Uh, these experiences have made it so I'm terrified. I don't blame you. So I sleep with them in my room. And we're all dead asleep. Well, the kids are dead asleep on the floor. And my doorknob to my room, not to downstairs where the, you know, the front door is, but the doorknob to the room starts turning slowly. Oh my God. And it goes back and forth, turning slowly, probably like three or four times. And my eyes shoot open, yeah. and I think to myself, okay, it's got to be a dream. And then Richard sits bolt upright. Oh my gosh. And I'm like, oh no. And he's like, did you hear that? And I said, yep. And he looks on the floor, the kids are passed out. They're passed out. We didn't hear one fall back onto the floor. Like, they're passed out, not getting back into bed, not moving around. Like, done. Oh they're gosh. done for the night. Yeah, so it wasn't a kid. It wasn't a kid. And if, it, if Richard had thought it might have been a kid, he would have said, no, it yeah. definitely had to have been a kid. And I was like, well, go check out what it was. <laughs> and he runs over to the door, and there's no one there. Something was turning our doorknob. Oh, so oh the gosh. next morning, we're doing everything we can to recreate the noise. Everything we can to try to see to if it was try like and something. See. Yes. Yeah. I'm like going on the floor, checking out the like anything underneath the bed that the kids could have been touching. There was nothing. It's all soft stuff under my bed. Yeah. And finally, the last thing we try, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna turn the doorknob to that room, and you tell me if this is what it sounded like. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I did it, and he's like, yep. He's like, that's, that's the it. One. That's, that's it. it. I can't explain that one. That is so creepy. So, like, I just pray every night these weird things won't happen. Aww. <laughs> That's so sad. But, um, and I'm on my last one. I feel like there's more, but I'm drawing a blank right now. I think I'm freaking myself out too much. <laughs> so, this one last one that happened, I don't think anything's happened for about a year and a half. So about a year and a half ago, I was, my daughter, my, we try to sometimes get them into their rooms because it's the, this constant battle between me and Richard of getting the kids into the room and me wanting to keep them. And sometimes I lose and sometimes he, he loses. Yeah. Because everybody in the world needs to know that. <laughs> um, and so he won this time. So I'm laying with Ella in her bedroom because she's terrified because she's heard me tell like a thousand ghost stories. Yeah. Mom of the year award right there. And so she, we're laying down. I can't sleep. She can't sleep. We're like wide awake. I just have this icky feeling. And so I'm lying awake at, again, one o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And something falls in her room. It was a backpack that was sitting up and it fell. And I was like, what the heck was that? And she's like, I think it, because she was still awake too. Yeah. Sorry, okay. I'm bronzing you. Oh, no, you're good. This is glow. Yay. And she's like, I think it was my backpack. And I was like, okay, well, that's strange. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so... I'm <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paralyzing you <laughs> with my stories. So I um, I um, lost my tra train of thought. The backpack fell. Okay, so the backpack fell. And I'm... This one's really hard to describe. Yeah. 
And I'm sure people are going to be like, it is just a trick of the imagination. I don't know. With all the stories so far, <laughs> anything you say, I'm like, yep, ghost. Yep. Definitely ghost. ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking towards, I just had this icky feeling that something was in my hallway. Mm. So people could say I was like psyching myself out. You could. I'd probably say it too to someone yeah. if I hadn't experienced it. I'm looking towards my doorway, or I we have the hall light on because that helps my daughter. Yeah. So we have the hall light on, and I look out towards the door frame, the doorway, and in the door frame, I cl I close my eyes, mm -hmm. and you know this is where it gets tricky. You know, like when you've looked at something light and you close your eyes, and whatever you was see. blocking the light, you could see the outline of it. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. That for me. I'm looking out towards the doorway and I closed my eyes and like there was a burned image you know behind my eyelids yeah of a man about six feet tall just a man so creepy like that so in I'm like okay <laughs> <sighs> either my mind is super awesome and can do these like tricks that freak the crap out of me yeah or you know I'm assuming if you talk to some paranormal person, they would say there was some type of energy there that was blocking the light that obviously like your human eyes couldn't see, but yeah. you know, like on a subconscious level you could see. Do you yes. see what I'm saying? I, so something could have been like blocking the light enough some image for me when I closed my eyes again. I saw that okay. shape of a man. Yes. Burned in my retina. <laughs> what I'm saying. That is so creepy. And I have tried countless times to psych myself out and recreate it. To try to do that again. To try and do it again. Yeah. And the only time it's happened is when I woke up and Richard was in the bathroom yeah. and I closed my eyes and there was a shadow of a man. Because it was Because it was Richard. Richard. Yeah. That's so creepy. What do you do? <laughs> what do you think, Julie? Oh I mean, my gosh. Well, I'm happy these things don't happen to me. <laughs> I'm really sorry they happen to you. I'm like, I know. Well, what is it? Crazy. I don't I get know. it. I'm trying to think. Only like two weird things have happened to me. I think I told you one. So one oh, was with my good, sister. Yeah. <laughs> so I used to share a room with my little sister. She's 10 years younger than me. So I think I was 15 and she was five and we slept in like this queen bed and stuff and I wake up in the middle of the night and I used to have glasses like I, I have LASIK now but I was like beyond blind like so blind like everything was one blob like you'd hold up fingers like how many fingers Julian and I'm like a hand I don't know like is it a fist is it a fist? yeah like, I can't tell so anyways so I wake up and I like we had all these porcelain dolls um in my room go ahead and look down <laughs> and I like wake up in the middle of the night and the light was on we fell asleep at the walls and I like look at the shelf and like it looks like all the porcelain dolls are spinning I'm like whoa <laughs> that's weird <sighs> and I'm like oh, where are my glasses like this is so weird and I'm like no it's definitely because I'm blind and it's like three in the morning like I don't know and then I look over at my sister and her eyes are like wide awake and she's like Julie look at the dolls they're dancing and I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> Julie I'm like okay that's creepy that is I forgot the sister part <laughs> That's what made it creepy, and I yeah. didn't know what to do, so I just went to sleep. Because <laughs> it was scary. It was yep. totally creepy. Does but she it was still remember like, that? I don't think she does. She was too little. Okay. And, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know if I've told, I think I've told her that, but she like, <laughs> she still sleeps with the dolls, so I don't want to tell her, because <laughs> it's creepy. Not anymore. She doesn't live with my parents, like her room at home. Yeah. Dolls. And they're not creepy dolls. They're like very pretty. Just that one time. But it was kind of weird, like, it didn't actually feel, like, super creepy. It just was creepy because it didn't make sense. Like, look up, like, you know, when you have, like, that creepy feeling. Yeah, I mean, there's no explanation to that. No, except, it's unless weird. it was an earthquake and it made them spin around, but... Yeah. No, I mean, you had the mouth of two witnesses there. <laughs> <laughs> what it was. That Mine's was one creepy. witness, so... Hey, sometimes Richard. Yeah, he had one. So what was the other one? The other, well, it's not like a ghost story. So I get like sleep paralysis. Like, have you heard of that one? It's like you like 
your mind wakes up, but your body doesn't wake up. So, like, you're awake, but yeah. it's, like, sometimes you can't make your eyes open. Yeah, you can't, like, move your body. But you're, like, on move, and it, like, won't move. And it's yes. literally the creepiest thing in the world. Like, you feel possessed. But you're not possessed. That's what happened. Well, that's what I've happened with the mist like one. I heard it's, like, a disorder. But I don't see mist, luckily. Okay, yeah. I oh, just, you didn't I, see mist. No, I didn't see mist. I just, like, okay. wake up, and I'm, like, okay, like, let's roll over now. And, like, I can't. It's, like, so creepy. Or, like, one time, yeah, I had a sheet over my face or something, and I, like, couldn't take it off. It was creepy. Yeah, that's what, so that's what Richard tried to chop mine up to, was the sleep paralysis. He's like, it's just sleep paralysis. And I was like, but I saw a mist. sleep paralysis doesn't include the mist. Okay, well, there you go. Do you hear that, Richard? (laughs) Mist free. Uh, okay guys so I'm pretty much done with her makeup so I'm gonna do I did a goddess braid or a mermaid braid tutorial the other day so I'm gonna do that super fast right now with extensions so you guys can see how to do the full look so I'm just gonna throw these extensions are a little bit lighter than Kelly's hair but they are gonna look good because they actually match her hair but they have like highlights so I'm gonna put these in and braid it really quick so what I'm doing, this is a full head of extensions, but I'm putting most of the pieces in really low because I want it to be longer. So if I put them up high, it'd be like more the length of her own hair. So I'm putting them low so that it adds some length. And then I'm gonna do the braid on this side. So I'm just gonna do mostly like the extensions over here. I'll put one piece over on that side. Let's see, this is gonna be fun. I really like that mermaid braid. <laughs> you did? Really it's so cute. I like it. It's like my favorite braid because you can do it. We did it straight back, but we're going to do this to the side. It's just fun to switch things up. It's too bad it's not Halloween right now. I know. I'm <laughs> completely ready. <laughs> you can come back over and I'll goddess you. Okay. Maybe it'll be like just so pretty. The ghost will be like, oh, she's like so friendly. I can never haunt her again. I don't know what <laughs> it is. I don't know either. Have you ever talked to, like, a paranormal person? No, because what if they bring over those little ETF, whatever uh, they're called, readers? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, there's an energy here. Then I talk to Moo. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if I believe in, like, that. I believe you, and I believe <laughs> your stories, but I don't know, like... Well, they're just too... Stuff they're just can too, be defined. Yeah, they're too weird know? to make up. I couldn't make yeah. these things up if I tried. Well, I guess I could. I'm pretty clever, but... I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> you should write a book. I should. True, the true ghost stories of Kelly. Sorry, I'm gonna turn, turn you a little more, so you guys can see. So I'm gonna do it a little bit different. Before I did this, like in a rubber band, and I'm gonna just do it with a bobby pin because I'm doing like the speedy version. I hope you guys can see. It's kind of hard to like turn, turn the braid. It's too big of a, too big of a bobby pin. So, like, when that last thing happened, I went into my kids' um, front desk lady at their school. Uh-huh. And I was like, my kids are late because I got no sleep last night because I had some really weird experience. Because <laughs> <laughs> you had a weird ghost. Oh, my and gosh. And I told her that, and she said, Mrs. Spears, if you knew how many parents came in here, telling me they have the weirdest experiences in the houses. What? Like in this area? In this area. Uh, Kelly, we're neighbors. My house needs to be like here. Our school is named after an Indian guy. We're probably on an Indian burial ground. Uh, This like used to belong to like the Pakuma Indians or Pai, I don't know who they are. (laughs) Someone's going to scold me for not knowing. Oh man. But (laughs) I have looked up if we're on an Indian burial ground. I'm not oh that good at research, gosh. apparently, because I can't tell. <laughs> but there is something. Yeah, I don't know how to look that up. If anyone knows, let us know. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if we want to know. Um, That's... Maybe maybe we need to get something out here. Because yeah. she did. She's like, you have no idea how many people have told me these things. And I was like, uh, we're going to stop talking. That's so crazy. <laughs> right now. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I've heard other people tell me their stories, but it's not my place to tell them. Yeah. You know, like maybe if they want to come on the show and do something. <laughs> if anyone else for the month of October wants to tell their ghost stories, actually, I don't know if I can handle anymore. I'm already scared. I don't know. There's scary <laughs> ones in my house growing up, but I didn't witness them. My dad and my sister did. Oh, your but sister who doesn't believe in ghosts. She does, and they're they're just like 
I think they, I think they weave it into like some type of logical fabric. Okay. You know that. Your dad doesn't believe in them either. No, he doesn't. But I'm. I didn't experience these things that happened because I was on vacation with my mom. Yeah. Um, but it had to do with like chairs moving around, why we weren't there or why they weren't there, and some Kleenex Kleenex box moving when no one was around and being thrown in the middle of the floor. And my sister was like, <laughs> "Dad, why'd you do that?" And he's like, oh "I didn't gosh. even touch it." Like, it wasn't me. So, but I never. I never witnessed it. This is just what they told me when we got home. Yeah. These things. But from a young age, it's been part of my life somehow. Weird. I just I just don't want to see, like, some full-on lady in a flowy white dress walk down my hallway. Crap, now it's going to happen tonight. <laughs> no. We're not going to happen. No more. No leave, more. Leave Kelly alone. <laughs> but they don't want to. I'm just sending them over to your house. No, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> you made it through the dancing dolls. Oh my gosh. If you can make it through dancing dolls, <laughs> you can make it through anything. I'm my parents' house now. I think my parents' basement is haunted. Really? I don't want to tell them because they still live there, but if they ever move, I'm going to tell them how creepy it is. <laughs> tell them not to watch this episode. Yeah, I hope my little brother's not watching. <laughs> Why? Why do you think it is? Because I to think tell his me. room's downstairs. Oh. No, his room isn't downstairs. I don't know. It just has a creepy feeling. And um, you hear tons of weird noises. But it's like, it's not that old of a house. But so, you know how house make like house noises? And you're like, oh, it's just like the furnace or it's yeah. just something. But it's like a weird, it always make weird noises. And I just always thought it felt creepy. But I thought it was like just me being creeped out easy. But then like one of my neighbors, I was doing her hair. She's like, your house is haunted. You know that. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah, the basement. Whoa. I'm like, which room? Like, what do you mean? She's like, yeah, a room down there is haunted. I'm like, which one? And it was like the room I was staying in. <laughs> like, why would you tell me that? Why? But Never what was her reasoning? Case. You can't just tell someone your house is haunted. I don't give her reason. I'm like, don't tell me. Oh. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. I really want to know. Can no. you call her? I'd like to know. Yes. If <laughs> she's watching, please <laughs> let me know. Do you, do you talk to her anymore? I really want to know. No. Like, why no, she I thinks it's haunted. <laughs> I don't know. I know very logical people. Very normal, sane people. Because I know people watching this who know me are like, oh, Kelly, that's just Kelly. There are, like, normal people out there that have super freaky experiences. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk them into coming on here. No, you're good. Yeah, I don't know. I can't handle anymore. <laughs> okay. And that we have a necklace for you. Oh, fancy. I'm going to put it on. So I have this gold, like, wire that's around her sleeves. <clears throat> it's, like, from the craft store. I had it from forever ago. I wrapped it in here for some photo shoot. I was going to pin in with a bobby pin in her braid, but I totally left it in my bathroom counter, so I didn't have it to add to the braid. But that would look really cool. All right, you ready? Yes! Oh, I forgot I get to do the... Yes! I get to see it in the mirror. The reveal. <laughs> you look awesome. Why do you goddess or Halloween? Okay! I'll just keep this on for the next 28 days. <laughs> Don't wash your face <laughs> till Halloween. <gasps> oh my gosh! I like the glitter. I love the glitter! That's the first thing I saw was the glitter! Oh, you're so pretty! <laughs> I feel like Cleopatra. I know. But I'm not Egyptian. Like my DNA suspicious. did not tell me so. So thank you. Oh yeah, from Simpson that. Portraits. She let me borrow her oh, extension. That's so pretty. She's amazing. Oh, I want to cut my hair this weekend. Now Richard's not gonna let me. <laughs> so pretty. You look gorgeous. I like don't want to look at anybody else but myself right now. <laughs> I'm so vain. Thanks for being my model. I'm telling oh, all your yeah. ghost stories. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you love Kelly as much as me. She's the best. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tune in every Monday through Thursday at 7:30 Pacific Standard Time when I do live makeovers. Sometimes ghost stories. <laughs> Bye, guys.